Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. 257 people now in hospitals across the state due to COVID, a jump of over 100 from a week ago. This comes at a time when critical care nurses say they're burned out from overtime shifts and staffing shortages. But the Hawaii Nurses Association tells our Sam Spangler that this could have been prevented. It's a story that's new tonight at 10. By all accounts, the state is graduating enough nurses to fill positions, but the expertise and the experience required to work in the ICU, especially to care for COVID-19 patients, is becoming a roadblock to hiring local nurses. Meanwhile, the state is hiring traveling nurses to stopgap the problem. We're in a nursing shortage, but there's no jobs, right? And then when there are jobs, they're asking for you know, highly educated, highly qualified nurses to fill those jobs. This is not a new phenomenon, it's right, what's happening right now. This is something that could have been prevented. Hawaii was short on nurses before the pandemic, but Higgins says the baby boomer generation is getting older, and that's causing 3 million nursing retirements nationwide. An older population also requires more care. We're bound for trouble, and we've known this for a long time, and we've worked, well, we've tried to work really hard at, at understanding it and then cultivating nurses to, to fill that, those voids. Unfortunately, um, we just haven't done um, a very good job. When COVID struck in 2020, the state spent $14 million of federal CARES Act funds on traveling nurses to help fill staffing shortages. And with this new wave of infections, demand on the profession has reached new heights, prompting some to resign due to burnout. There are so many factors that have increased the demand of nursing right now. So I described it takes longer just to take care of one patient because of the PPE, because of their individual needs and their acuities or the medications they're taking inside the hospital. The Hawaii Nurses Association says nurses in Hawaii make about $55 to $70 an hour, while traveling nurses make $80 to $180 an hour. Hawaii has the second highest average nursing salary in the nation, but when you factor in the cost of living in paradise, that drops to last. You look at the work demands and you look at the reward and it's no wonder. You have to offer incentive to recruit and, re and retain people. The hope is that more hands-on experience at the educational level can help get graduates qualified for jobs. While Ross says hospitals need to hire more grads and get them experience. Either way, it could take time to remedy. I think it'll take us a couple years to figure out what our new nursing demand is. Dr. Higgins adds that one key piece of technology that can help train nurses is virtual reality goggles. She says they are expensive, but they can help train nurses to react in situations instead of think of what they're taught. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.